hey guys how are you all doing uh, welcome back to the hybrid wheels premium update so in this video i'm not going to be sharing my outlook on bitcoin as uh, it's friday and we have already shared a video on uh, bitcoin on the free channel so you can check that out another thing that i want to share with you today is the anchor chart and i'm going to be sharing uh, with you how to do technical analysis on a chart which is uh, completely raw and uh, nothing has been marked on this chart yet so let, let's just break down this chart and uh, find out what we can expect and how TA can confuse you as well and uh, what to look for when taking a trade so this chart is for anchor a n k r is the ticker so right now this is the daily chart and it's a, it is a perpetual futures on binance and uh, the first thing first thing that i want you to do is use a horizontal line tool and uh, mark all the possible support and resistance zones uh, don't overdo it just to do uh, just mark the zones which uh, have the maximum uh, touch points for example this one this this line of uh, resistance and support is uh, th this was tested here as support again here here again here again here again and then it broke down and when it broke down it came back up to retest it as resistance then it went down again and then went up again to test it as as, re as resistance again so let's just zoom in a bit now uh, to see what's happening right now so let me just zoom in a bit so now now again take the tool and now uh, again mark the zones for resistance and support so as you can see this is uh, this is another zone of resistance here again it was tested here again and it was tested here again now now the price is trading below it so it can be expected that it retests and test this uh, resistance again another zone that I would like to mark is uh, this one so it was tested as a support here 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 multiple times and so you have to do do what you have to do is uh, just mark the zones which uh, have been tested multiple times uh, they have a much more uh, significance than uh, any other trend line that you draw another another trend line that you can draw is here it was tested as resistance resistance support resistance 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 support this uh, support again so right now it is moving between these two lines so we'll focus uh, our price action between the, these two lines only so let's just move to the four hour chart So coming back to the 4-hour chart, as you can see, we have ma made a nice move back up and we have uh, been uh, given support at uh, this uh, previous zone of uh, support. And uh, now we have broken this resistance and uh, confirmed support again like here, but it can break down to the downside or it can test this resistance again. So let me just zoom in further. And uh, now we are going to be using our Fibonacci tool. Uh, and we'll use it from the previous swing low to the previous uh, to the uh, previous swing high over here we'll use the wicks it works uh, much better and as you can see and the price has made a move to the upside like this and then it came back down to retest this previous zone of support this white line and and this is also coinciding with the 0 0.5 fibonacci level here and also this uh, uh, re this zone of resistance here this wick here so this was some some sort of an imbalance as uh, uh, let me just show you what an imbalance is so this this green candle this big green candle is an imbalance here and we were expecting it to fill so when you are trying to uh, find imbalances in, in the chart uh, these are the big moves in the chart and the big move and we have to see the previous wick uh, before the the big move has happened so this was the wick so the imbalance is going to be somewhere around this level and it flipped uh, bullish again from uh, after touching this zone itself so that's how you find an imbalance uh, we have to look at the volume ticker size as well and that is uh, something that i'll share with you in the next update so 
uh, coming back to what I was saying, uh, this is what the move was and it uh, took support from the 0 0.5 Fibonacci level and then it made a move back up. It has also broken the 0 0.382 Fibonacci with, and has confirmed support over it multiple times. So I'm expecting a move higher to this uh, higher to this resistance again at 0 0.0382 but we can also be uh, gravitated back down to this zone of support. So. And so this is the technical analysis on the 4 hour chart and now uh, let me just put uh, put it on the hourly chart so you are understanding what i'm doing right here uh, i i started with a daily chart then i went to the 4 hour chart then i'm coming to the even a shorter time frame at the 1 hour time frame okay so right now we can see that this is our zone of support current support and this is a zone of resistance now let's just make a few trend lines if we take this trend line over here as you can see this was previous zone of resistance 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 now it has broken out and it is confirming it as support another thing that you can do is also use this as uh, like this so which one is better the one that I made earlier or this one I think this one is better because because it has multiple touch points resistance here here, here, here again and then a breakout then multiple retests and then a uh, move back up so let's just keep this trend line for now another trend line that we can draw is some some sort of a trend line here like this okay uh, resistance here, resistance here, resistance here, resistance here another trend line that we can draw is this one let me just take it further so we can make some sort of pattern okay so uh, this trend line can be used as a support here 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 again so we have had three multiple uh, three touches one here one here and one here and from the downside we have had three touches as well we have had four in fact so this pattern has been completed now and we would be expecting some sort of a breakout or breakdown so let's see what happens here now what we can do is uh, take one more Fibonacci here from this swing high to this swing low this swing low so as you can see let me just remove the previous zone of uh, Fibonacci's so it, it is a clear chart yeah so right now we can see that it made a move down for after 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 coming up it has made a move down and this was our uh, swing high this was our swing low for fibonacci and then it went up and it got resisted at the 0 0.618 which is the golden pocket and uh, it came back down and it is take, uh, taking support at the 0 0.382 as well so it is uh, kind of uh, doing some confusion right now and uh, what we want to see for it to turn bullish is to flip this zone of resistance 0 0.618 as a support and once it does that uh, you can expect some sort of a move like this okay so let me just take this out so this trend line suggests that we have uh, ended a, a descending um, trend a downtrend we have ended that downtrend and we have confirmed support over it and we are in the technical target of this swing high over here but this other pattern let me just change the color so you can understand it better okay so but the uh, the, the pattern that i have drawn in green it is a uh, it is a triangle it is a triangle and it is it is also a bearish wedge to be honest it's a rising wedge so what you can expect is uh, if it breaks this uh, trend line this key trend line of support we can expect uh, some sort of a rejection like this and a retest of this support back down here so what we did was uh, if we break this uh, resist uh, if, we, if we break this support this green line we are going to come around this level and then we when we go back up this same trend line which was giving us support will be acting as resistance and it will also be coinciding with the 0 0.618 resistance here and then we can expect a move back down so this is where you can go for sh go for short if we break down and then come back up this is where you go for short another perspective is if we break this to the upside then we are definitely going to confirm some sort of support above this previous zone of resistance here this green this uh, 0 0.618 fibonacci let me just put one more trend line so you can see it clearly 
so uh, we, what we need to see right now is uh, we have found a key level which is this 0.618 Fibonacci level at 0.0358 so after coming from the daily time frame to 4 hour time frame to 1 hour time frame we have confirmed that we have a key level of uh, resistance and support right now for the shorter time if, if we flip this uh, level as support we are looking for a price target at uh, 382 and if we lose this uh, zone and test it as uh, resistance we are looking for our price target to be first price target would be the 0.382 level at 344 and the next would be 327 if we lose the previous level of support so that's how you do it and uh, even though we have a confusion that we have one 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 trend line shows us that it is bullish and the other pattern shows us that it is bearish we have found out that we have a key level of uh, interest the point of interest uh, is at the 0.618 level and if we can uh, confirm a bullish breakout we could be looking for long and if we, we can confirm a bearish breakdown we could be looking for shorts so i hope you understood this one and uh, uh, another thing that i would like to show you in the same chart are going to be the uh, confluences so you are going to see uh, you are going to try to find some confluences to take trades right now rsi is in uh, is above 50 which is bullish so it is currently in a bullish trend the momentum is bullish for right now so uh, it is favoring longs right now next thing that you would like to know is the volume so for a bullish breakout we need the volume to rise right now volume is decreasing this is telling me that we could be breaking down so uh, according to this uh, volume is always going to be more important than rsi or any sort of momentum indicator because if there is no volume no momentum can be sustained so a uh, falling volume a decreasing volume is going to be a key confluence for any trades that you take so this means that we could be looking at something like this but we cannot take a trade unless and until we see a breakout or breakdown so i hope you understood the confluences if uh, we want to take a trade we need to consider at least three confluences rsi volume fibonacci trend lines or uh, any sort of patterns that you can see these are the three key and very simple confluences that you need to look for look out for and uh, also always when you are taking trades on alts you should be looking at bitcoin and what it is looking to do in the shorter term if it is consolidating uh, after a move up like this when, let me just show you what bitcoin can be doing and how to find trades on alts after bitcoin does something so if bitcoin does this move and it consolidates like this while it is consolidating uh, you can expect moves on alts to the upside as well and if bitcoin is doing something like this if bitcoin came back down and then it is consolidating right here you can expect move on alts to be uh, uh, to be happening on the downside so that's it from this video and I hope you learned from this and I hope you learned uh, how to do a simple TA on any altcoin that you like to do. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you find found this video helpful and uh, that's all from this video. Take care. All the best. Bye-bye.